So, we are here in our soil pit. The soil pit is an open area in the soil where you can see the profile of the soil. And this is really important. We have it open all over the year. Uh, this is open since three years because our visitors most often they don't know anything about soil or not a, not a lot about soil and we only know uh, from stepping on the soil but not stepping in the soil and here you can touch you can grab the soil you can see the difference between the top soil and the subsoil and you can see how the soil how the roots uh, work in the soil and also how the earthworm uh, burrows work in the soil. And what we see here is uh, a good, uh, uh, we can really clearly see the difference between the top soil, the soil that is rich in organic matter and therefore it's much darker, and the subsoil. And here you can still see the plow pen. So you can still see where the plow was working and where, where the plow was mixing up the topsoil. So it has more or less the same, same color. And even if plowing was stopped here 25, 30 years ago, but you can see the earthworms, they connect, the, start to connect the, the topsoil with the subsoil. So this is uh, something that's going on here. But uh, much more interesting is what we did. And this is still also a question of research. So we are asking the scientists right now, why is the soil over there and the soil over here so different? Because here we also see the topsoil, but then there is a large layer, like 10, 15 centimeter deep layer, where we have a very good mix. And this, in my opinion, is caused by the activity of the earthworms. And the reason for that is, uh, at least we think, and that's not clear, so we still have to investigate that together with researchers. We had mulch, so we have or had organic matter here uh, for the last four years on the top of the soil. So we put mulch here on the, on the top of the soil and therefore we think we supported the earthworms, we supported the activity of the earthworms and what they did, the earthworms, as you can see here, this is an earthworm burrow, this is an earthworm burrow, this is an earthworm burrow, this is an earthworm burrow. So there is a lot of earthworm activity and the earthworms move up and down and they start growing the topsoil down to into the subsoil. So this would be fantastic if it works and we can not prove it in a way, but uh, we can also look when we remove the, the, the soil debris that we, we've taken over back from here and remove them, we often find a lot of earthworms in here and here is already one, here is another one, uh, you can see. So they they are and here is another one and maybe i can move that better with my hand so here you see an earthworm here you see an earthworm and if you if you move down here you can see lots lots of earthworm activity here you see large earthworms uh, lumbricus terrestris here is another one uh, so there is a lot of activity and the earthworms are, are very active in this area. These are two different species, by the way. And it's, here is another one. So these earthworms are in, working in the subsoil and connecting. And here you can see another one and another one. So there is lots of activity. And these earthworms, here is another one. And we think we promoted their work through this mulch, through the organic layer on top of the soil. And even if you raise that up, you can recognize it's 
already connected, it's already incorporated into the soil by the earthworms. So they, they bring it in and they improve the soil uh, structure, but also they sequester a lot of carbon. And new re research shows that the earthworm compost, uh, so the sheet of the earthworms actually, contributes to carbon sequestration heavily, even if at the beginning the earthworm's activity also uh, contribute to carbon dioxide release, but on a long-term effect, uh, it seems that the, the, the earthworm compost is much more stable, the carbon is much more stable in the soil, and therefore uh, nowadays scientists considers earth, consider earthworms even as a contrib con uh, strong contributor to climate protection.